Welcome back witches, I'm Temperance, and lately I've seen a ton of videos online that are those witch haul videos where people are like, I'm a beginner witch and this is what I bought to start my witchcraft journey. And I've, like, I've seen enough of them that I was like, you're a beginner. Like, how do you know what you're buying? So, here's my beginner witch haul. So let's bring it back. Here's what I did. I took a $20 bill, which I don't have because I spent it. I took a $20 bill and I took it to a supermarket. I didn't go to the dollar store because honestly, some of the products are overpriced there and the dollar store isn't accessible to everyone. Neither is the grocery store I went to. I went to Publix and you have to live in the Southeast of the United States to have that grocery store. But the concept is the same. You can find most of the products in most grocery stores. So I figured why not? Let's go for it. Let's get into it. Here's what I got. Okay, so I'm gonna do this bag first because it seems like it's more stuff. Um, and I had some issues like while I was at the grocery store where I could, first off, I couldn't find everything I specifically wanted, but it was fine because it's a beginner witch haul. All these witch haul videos are really suited to the individual person. So you, you're not really gonna get, you might not get what I get and that's fine. Um, but these are the things that like I recommend pretty much every beginner to pick up and get and they're pretty cheap. So let's see what we got. So we're gonna start with um, herbs and what I got with that. I didn't buy salt because most of you have salt in your cabinets. So like the thing is you don't have to buy everything brand new just for this. So I bought whole bay, whole bay leaves. I don't know if they're how out of focus I'm gonna get. So bay leaves, because you'll use those a lot in the beginning. People like to use bay leaves to cleanse. People like to use bay leaves for petitions, for manifestation, for a whole ton of things. So they're a really good first beginner item to purchase. Next up is star anise. This is a little more advanced. I really like to use it uh, to just add some flair to a lot of things. It's good for psychic awareness, clarity, uh, prosperity. It's kind of a really good herb to have. So next, my favorite is Italian seasoning. I like the McCormick brand Italian seasoning because it has everything that I want in it. Sage, rosemary, marjoram, basil, garlic, oregano, and thyme. That's a powerhouse in terms of what you might want to use it for. I use Italian seasoning for money and prosperity and luck and fortune. And that's a lot of the spell work I do. I do a ton of like good luck charms, good fortune, new jobs, blessings, house blessings, things like that. It's like a lot of what I do. So it's good for me to have that. Next thing I bought was cloves. So all of these um, and these little wrappers and you can't get this in the well, I mean, I'm sure you could get these at the dollar store, but you can't get them for 80 cents, and they're 80 cents at your supermarket. So cloves, a whole thing of cloves. Cloves is good for money, it's good for manifesting, it's good for hexing, it's good for banishing, it's good for binding, it's good for love spells. People like to say rosemary is the move. No, cloves are the move. Next up, I have whole cinnamon sticks. Cinnamon is great if you want to move things along fast. I also like to give it as offerings. Next up, in the bag. Okay, I bought this, and if you're underage, you wouldn't buy this. You could buy something else with your money and not waste it. I think this was like $3. I bought dry sake. I bought this as an offering um, because I like to have an offering on my altar. And if I don't use it that way, then I'll drink it. But if you're underage, I would recommend replacing this with either more herbs or more candles. Because I only bought one in this video. I have three more things that we bought from Publix. So I bought Florida water. Florida water is, I know I'm in Florida and I know Publix is in Florida, but Florida water is not from Florida. Florida water is a 
perfume. It is a protective cleansing perfume. So if you want to cleanse an object or an item or yourself, you would rub it on that. You can put it in your hands. It has a very distinct smell. Um, it is called Florida Water because it, there's a picture on the front, and maybe I'll put a little picture here so you can see what I'm talking about. There's a picture on the front of the Fountain of Youth that was supposed to be in Florida near St. Augustine. And if you're not from Florida, like every fourth grader has to go through this class where we talk about how the Spaniards came and they went to St. Augustine looking for the Fountain of Youth and blah 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 blah. So there we have it, Florida water. Okay, the last two items are, they go together and beginners don't pick this up and even some advanced but just don't pick this up and it's kind of silly in my opinion. Um, they sell them at like every supermarket ever. Long reach matches and a seven day candle. So like I said, if you were underage, buy two of these, buy two seven day candles. But I only bought one because of my budget. I was trying to keep my total bill under $20. I did, it was 18 something. I'm gonna put the receipt so you can really see. I only spent like 18 bucks. I did have two candles initially and I had two candles and when I got to the checkout, my bill was like a little over $20. And I was like, no, this cannot be. I was like, take off one of the candles. I'd rather sacrifice a candle than anything else because I don't need more candles. So um, the reason I like these is because if you want to reuse the candle, if you're a beginner, first off, these are very safe if you're a beginner. I know a lot of people choose tea lights. I would have chosen tea lights for this video except I buy mine at Ikea in bulk because you can get them for like four bucks and you get like a million of them, but Ikea is closed for the pandemic. So, and these are great because you can keep relighting the candles. Like when the, if you reuse these a lot, you either need one of those, like a lighter, you know, like the long ones. Um, but I prefer to not use those when I'm working on my altar. I like to keep it wood, keep it natural, or as natural as you can get, and then this. So, that is what I got for $20. Now, here's some bonus things. You don't need to buy everything new for your craft, and I said that before. So, what I mean by that is I took this paper, regular printer paper that I had at my house, and I took this tea out of my cabinet, regular old iced tea tea, and I put them together and I made all this paper. So what I do with these papers is I make my own ASMR. I make my own book of shadows with these, kind of like my own journals, and I make them into junk journals. Um, I don't have one with me here right now, but that's okay because I'll do a video on how to make one soon. Obviously, I have all these. So, you don't need to buy everything new. You can buy salt. You can use the salt out of your cabinet. You can buy pepper. You could use the pepper out of your cabinet. I have a spice cabinet full of cooking spices. That's why I didn't buy more spices. But if you're brand new, you might not have those things in your cabinet. So, that's it. That's what I would buy if I was a beginner witch looking to get some supplies, which you don't need, by the way. You do not need to buy any of this stuff, but a lot of people like to have some supplies when they're starting out, and that's fine. This is what I would buy if I was a beginner. I had $20, and I only had access to a supermarket. So thank you, I'll see you guys later.